Hello viewers, my name is Ashok Sen Gupta, Assistant Professor, School of Management Sciences, Lucknow. Today, our topic of discussion is same, introduction of PERT and CPM. In previous lecture, we were discuss about the PERT, about the concept of PERT. PERT was started, PERT was used first time by US Navy for missile program. It is a tool which was which is used by project manager to find out the estimated time, to find out the most likely time, pessimistic time and optimistic time. PERT is a kind of visualized diagram which is which represent the process of project it have nodes and arrows, arrows shows the movement direction, node shows the activities, time to times, earliest time, finish time. So, by uh, today we also uh, we ag again continue this lecture about the part, about the concept of the part. So, Look, this was the chart and we were discussing last class on, on, uh, on that chart. This chart having the nodes, this chart having the nodes, so these are nodes, these are nodes, okay. node 1, node 2, node 3. And arrows, arrows, so, arrow shows the task that must be completed sequentially, arrow shows which task is completed, then it shows which, which task is depend on the previous task, like here, like here, see. B is a task and task B is depend on A, task 3 is depend on 1. So, task 2 and task 3 both are depend on task 1 until and unless task 1 not completed, we cannot start the task 2 and task 3. So, these are the arrow diagram, this shows by the arrow diagram. C, indicate the possible concurrent task, possible concurrent task like from fifth, it is possible that the task A can be done and from fifth, ye to hoi rai. From 6th, 9 can be possible, from 10, 9 can be possible and from 9, 11 is depend on 9, 11 is depend on 9. So, this is a part diagram, in part diagram you see what happened at point 1 at task 1, we create a schedule, first what we did, what our activity, we create a schedule. Then, we buy a hardware, these are parallel, until we not buy hardware, hardware we cannot install the hardware. So, this, this depend on this, this depend on this. Similarly, we create a schedule and then make programming. So, 4 is depend on 4 is depend on 2. After 4 and 6, after 4 and 6, sorry 4 and 5 and 4 and 5 are possible, after 5 we can do the 4, the dotted diagram. Then we can move to the this one testing the code, 
or seventh point, sixth point, testing system and then user test finally. So, we are here may make a hardware and software combination project and from first step from first step to the eleventh step we have a different nodes and arrows. We have a different task. These tasks are these tasks are according to the work breakdown structure. Therefore, work breakdown structure is very 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 crucial in any kind of part technique. So, see in the diagram task between 1, 2, 4 and 8 must be completed sequentially 1, 2, 4, 8, 10, 1, 2, 4, 8 and 10 they are must be completed in sequence they are must be completed in sequence see this arrow call dependent and serial task these are called dependent and serial task next the task between 1 and node 1 and 2 and node 1 and 3 see node 1 and 2 let us change the color node 1 and 2 1 and 2 this is 2 this is 1 and node 1 and 3 are not depend on on the completed of each task So, 2 and 3 are different tasks, but 2 and 3 are not depend with each other because 3 is related to this one and 1 is related to this. So, they are parallel, they are parallel tasks, also known as concurrent tasks, also known as concurrent tasks. They can be possibly started simultaneously and end on the same time. So, it save the time. The task that must be completed in the sequence, but that does not require resource or completion time are considered to have event dependency, are considered to have event dependency. These are represented by dotted line these are represented by dotted line dotted line dotted line The task must be completed in sequence, but that does not require resources or completion time for the consideration to the event dependency. These represent called dotted line or dummy activities. These represent the known as dummy activities. For example, the dash arrow link 6 and 9, the dash arrow links 6 and 9 indicates that system file must be convert, covered before user task, but that resource and time required to prepare the resource test. So, 9 and 6, 6 and 9, 6 and 9 are denoted by dummy activities that means both are concurrent lines and they can be represent that they represent that the system converted and writing the user manual and training on, are on another path. The number of opposite sides of 
the vector indicates the time allocated for the task. So, when to use a purge chart, when to use the purge chart, purge chart should be used when a project manager need to first determine the project's critical path, determine the project's critical path in order to guarantee all deadline, determine the project's critical path in order to guarantee all deadlines. display the various independent tasks. So, first point is a project manager have to find out the critical path in order to complete the project in proper time, in order to complete the project in proper time. So, it is we need a deadline, display the various interdependency of task, which task is depend on which task is very important. So, dependency of dependency of each task, dependency of each task is also crucial because we can understand that without completion of the fixed one task, we cannot move to another task. And when we delayed in first task, when we delayed in first task, then it can will be delayed up there and after there and there. Then if we delay to complete up the task B and C is depend on B, then C must be delayed, then the, uh, the other task after C, it will also delayed. So, uh, finally, finally your project will delayed. So, display the various internet tasks and find out which is, which are related to each other. Estimate the time, estimate the, estimate the amount of time needed estimate the amount of time needed to complete the project. This is important part, this is important because every project have its finished point, every project have its own time guideline, every project need to finish. But if project finished in proper time, then it will be helpful. If project is not finished at proper time, then it block the capital and also unused, sometimes it become unused. It, if it delayed, then we have to face lot of problem. So, prepare, estimate the amount of time to be complete, it is important. Prepare more complex and large project. Basically, basically a per chart is used to in large project and complex project. Nowadays, we have a lot of tools, we have the softwares, applications which gives you create your per diagram, per chart accordingly, it is customized and just we need to put our inputs and it will create. So, complex projects and large projects covered by per chart because they need, they are capital intensive project they must be must be finished at proper time if they not able to finish at proper time then it our capital busting our capital structure our all these things become hampered due to time due to time uh, value of money factor of time value of money our revenue generation from that project will delayed that example take an example take a example of any power plant, if estimated time of power plant is 4 years and then it find that it is going to take more than 4 years. So, what happen? Without completion of the project, we cannot generate power, we cannot generate power and when we not able to generate power our all revenues are blocked because when we generate power because when we generate power
we sell that power to the government and government give us the revenue. From that revenue we cover our EMI, our debts, all these things, but due to any factor, but due to any factor we not able to complete the project on time, it will be difficult for us to manage the cash flow, to manage the fund. Until we not able to complete the project, we not able to hire the people, we cannot hire the people and when we not able to hire the people, we cannot work properly. So, in big projects, it is very important to find out the estimated time, find out the proper time. Project manager find best result when they use PERT chart at the beginning of the project. Doing so help ensure project to assure a scope of help avoiding bottleneck process. So, when a manager, when a project manager use the when a project manager use the part diagram initial level starting point of the project then it is always helpful then it will always helpful to him so any companies who started their business with project they need a part diagram. So, here we see some of the basic use of the part diagram by the managers. Next topic is what are the advantages of project diagram? What are the advantages of project diagram? So, we are basically various advantages, they are basically various advantages of project. So, first is part technique provides ability to evaluate the time, ability to evaluate the time. provide the ability to evaluate the time the resource the resource necessary to project any tackling what are the actually per technique is a per technique is a kind of thing where we need expert person project technique provide ability to evaluate the time it is it is actually based it is actually for to find out the time period, it is based on how much time it is going to be take to completion of the project. Okay. So, the part technique provides ability to time period resource necessary for to a project by tackling resource asset at each stage of the process as well as throughout the course of the project. So, when when we when we break down into worked breakdown structure, when we prepare task, when we prepare and we 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 know this task require this amount of time, then it is very helpful to us to process the project. Manage the time, important is manage the time. I always repeat time factor is very important in any project. If you delay in the time, your cost incur more and more and more. You incurred your cost will incurred. Your but you fail your in budgeting, your budget will fail. Or your budget will when your budget will fail, 
you do not have a in, you do not have a proper finance, you do not have insufficient fund, you have an insufficient fund for the remaining part of the project. So, part diagram give you uh, support you to tackle the time period. Part chart are useful in what if analysis, help companies understand the possible workflow choose the efficient and beneficial path. So, when we prepare a per diagram at initial level, when we prepare at the initial level before commencement of the project, it gives us the various options, it gives us various options like first we started with A, if we started with A, then there then B, from B we have two options. by C or by D, then E, F. So, which path is, which path is best, the, which path is best, the project part chart give you that analysis. In this part chart, you can find out which path is best for you before commencement of the project. The analysis of a part chart includes data from various departments within an organization. Combining all of them information help each other responsibility team within the company while facilitating an environmental where each department is responsible for their work. So, the in, they give an interaction between the, the between department it is give helpful to collect the data of various department. So, it is helpful for the maintaining the environment to, to complete the work at the proper time, it is helpful for the teamwork. The process of creating part chart also, Im also improves communication, enable an organization to invest energy in project that will enhance strategic positioning. So, when, com when uh, com the task managers, responsibility managers, department come together, it improves the communication between each other. It start, it, is, it enhances, it gives boost to the strategic position of the company. They able to decide how to work, they able to decide how to do the follow the work. Part chart make unclear deadline more predictable. If you have a deadline of 4 years, then we make the starting point here. Aaj se 4 saal baad hum log ye karenge, tak maximum 4 saal hai humare paas. It is more clear in the movie, we, we see the movie Mission Mangal, their deadline of some, kuch, some days, some hours, if deadline fail, then the project will delayed by 3 years or 4 years. Therefore, it is give a proper deadline more predictable. Disadvantages, there is a disadvantages of everything, it is also a disadvantages. A stiff focus on deadline may not able manager to see full financial position of the project. We cannot see the financial position of the project, we see the deadline, this is the difference. This is a difference that we see the deadline, but at till that time what we have the financial position we will not able to get that. Part chart lack the flexibility of to adapt to small changes that incurred when comfortable roadblocks. Flexibility nahi ho pati hai, agar hum chal diye to beech mein badalna pade to is quite difficult to kaun sa path beech mein hatayein kaun sa jodein. 
if and any calculation are inadequate in the creation of chart, delay could be occurred causing bottleneck and negative impact on final delivery. If delay hota hai to akhir tak delay hota rahega. It will be it if calculation are inadequate, agar proper calculation nahi kar paya. That is why today we are using the different softwares. This is errors come hai. Jo input hum dalenge, wohi lega. Agar popular <coughs> usme bhi input humne kam dala, galat dala, then it will give a wrong result. Per chart are subjective. These success depend on the experiences of the project manager. So, total per chart depend on the project manager experience. Therefore, it is clear that the project manager having an experienced person. Some chart may include unreliable data, unrealistic expectation for cost. Kisi chart may hum log galat data ya dal dene, this will be difficult. Creating per chart is a labor intensive required additional time resource, but nowadays it is it need, need a people, it need experienced people that is labor intensive in nature. So, it will take time to design a per chart also. So, my dear students, today I just finished this topic of per chart in previous two topics I discussed the what is per chart, what is the advantage, disadvantage, who can, how can make the per chart, what is node, what is arrow, what is the benefit of the per chart how, and also uh, represent the, the graphical representation of per chart. Hope you enjoy this video. Thank you. Thank you for watching this.